Hello, welcome to Yothera. I'm Jessica Maitri. I wanted to do another video around why I really believe that mental health therapy can be creative and fun. And if you've never experienced that before, if you have this idea that mental health therapy is really difficult, it can be but I am really here to offer you a new perspective that therapy and working through trauma, shadows, defense mechanisms, things that you really can't see on your own and you need a reflection from another person, it can actually be fun. It can. I've experienced that personally and I can tell you that my clients have also used those exact words that that was fun. Like, I thank you, that was fun. I learned a lot from that. And the reason that sometimes we can learn more from being joyful is because it really engages another part of our brain when we can activate that creative um, flow, really. So the more that we can drop out of the head space and into the heart space, the more joyful and playful we can be, but also the more information that we can get about ourselves and also what we need to heal. And that's a number one, one of the number one things that I, at Yothera, want to encourage is people to drop more out of the headspace and analyzing and thinking about solutions and planning, having an agenda, and actually bringing their awareness into the heart space. And I'm really passionate about assisting individuals in dropping out of the headspace into the heart space, getting into heart coherence together. And then from that space, creating an intention and letting that energy guide us where we're supposed to go in that session. And it can be vulnerable because we don't have an agenda, but we trust. And so part of my work really is to encourage my clients by myself leading by example to trust the healing process and we live in such a I'll use the word masculine because you know it's it's not gender specific but we live in a very masculine world where we're supposed to have everything planned out do all the things and dot you know all the I's cross the T's and then when things don't work out we feel like slighted or we feel like we failed. And I think that's because our feminine, if you will, the feminine side of us that wants to trust and trust that life really is taking care of us and life is working for us, that that part of us is actually weaker than our masculine side for a lot of us. And in my work with clients, I really encourage that trust muscle of the feminine, of the allowing and letting go of control to really find a whole deeper layer of healing. So I wanted to share a little picture with you. Um, I don't know if you can see it with this light that I have. There we go. This is me. <laughs> and I think I'm about seven years old. Uh, actually, I was six. Looks like uh, 1991. So I was born in 85, so this is me on my bike. And this picture of me, I keep on my altar every day to remind myself that my inner child is my guide. She's my guide. And it doesn't mean that I always have to be in a good mood. It doesn't mean that I always have to be playful or always be joyful. But it does mean that if it's not balanced, then I'm making decisions out of fear instead of an aligned, balanced perspective where there is play and joy and freedom also involved. So I'll leave it at that. Therapy can be fun, it can be joyful, and it can be playful. And it can leave you with a sense of relief. Ah, <sighs> yes. Also, I wanted you to know that I am really, I, I love working with all people, all humans, adults, specifically, but I am really calling out to those of you that identify as leaders, as teachers, as guides, because as we embody our play, as we embody our joy, then we can be even more of service to those that we are here to serve. 
So I really would love to work with you. I've got, I think, three spots left in my September 11th class. It's for all, uh, anyone that identifies as a healer or a leader in some capacity that's serving humanity. There are six CEU credits if, some, if you guys want credits, but it's not just for mental health professionals. It's for anyone that identifies with embodied psychology, really. So um, please join. You can find that on my website, yotherarise.com. Also, another call out to anyone that feels like they want to work individually with me. I have individual spots open. I do packages primarily because I can do longer sessions. And that brings me back to the first part of this video, which is why I want to encourage more creativity and more joy in our sessions. If I continue to do my, my traditional therapy model, which is about 50 minutes, you know, like a 50 minute to an hour session, we just didn't have enough time to really go deep and explore and do, uh, you know, any kind of, of really going deep. So my sessions are 75 minutes, 120 minutes, or even 180 minutes. Um, and then I have an option to also do what I call mentorship sessions in between those embodied sessions. And those are 45 minute check-in sessions where we talk, we do more of a mentorship in between so we can really have a balance of, of talk therapy, but also embodied therapy. So I'm really excited to be offering these packages. Um, I, do, I do require that um, every new client starts with a 45 minute intake session and then we can just go from there. So if that feels resonant to you, find me on my website, yotherarice.com, or you can direct message me, and I would love to connect with you.